give my wife. Yeah, close her with a poem, right? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even trick her, right? That's a brother did, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what he is saying. He's in the trick, though. I don't know. I'm talking about playing. Sister, you've been on my mind like an unfinished poem. And up until this present moment, I have not yet found the words to complete you. To find you, seek you, sweep you off your axis with X's and O's. And all of your X's with no, they no longer fit into this equation, and we both will know why. When we are head over heels, then we both will know sky like the back of our gracing wings. And I tell you these things will feel amazing. And I would love to love you now, but right now I'm patient because in the back of my mind, I know that God created the heavens and the earth in seven days to show that great matters take time in them. I just want to take my time with you to relish in your presence. A present, I mean, your essence goes far beyond the jurisdiction of words. I mean, you make a brother win a buy the source and increase his vernacular. I mean, a lesser man will call you spectacular, but I prefer a full pretendedness. Queen, you must be indigenous to ancient. <laughs> no, brother, you write that down. <laughs> you must be indigenous to ancient Egypt because I have never seen this contour of woman before, at least not in the last millennium. Your melanin of blast of cinnamon, an amalgamation of onyx, obsidian, and cocoa, and you know I'm in love with the cocoa. <laughs> and also oh inspired, I see a cut from the cloth of a sigh, and I would love to be a king. But great things don't happen overnight. This love is a journey. So pack your bags, that beautiful smile of yours, and let's take flight. And you want to hear the rest of the poem? <laughs>